Cartagena de Indias is a vibrant city of around a million inhabitants on Colombia's Caribbean coast. The Cartageneros who live here enjoy a relaxed pace of life characterized by sun, sand and lots of partying. The city has a rich and sometimes dark history. It was the jewel of the Spanish Empire and Spain's major port on the Caribbean. As such, it became a hub for slavery and for the siphoning of South American riches. As a result of this, Cartagena became a major target for pirates, the legacy of which can be seen today in its walled old town and the enormous colonial era fortress that looms over the bay. Hi, we've just arrived in Cartagena and we are about to go and wander the historic streets of El Centro. Cartagena's old town is a beautifully preserved colonial time capsule. Characterized by winding streets and colorful 17th century buildings, you can spend hours wandering and discovering the fascinating history of the place. The walls that give the city its unique character were built between 1614 and 1796 as a means of fending off raids from pirates or jealous European competitors. Brits including Sir Francis Drake and Admiral Edward Vernon made several attempts to conquer Cartagena and plunder its riches over the years. Unfortunately, those walls were mainly built by slaves. They're memorialised with a rather affecting statue just off the main plaza that was cast using brass from spent bullets from Colombia's more recent troubles. The old town is a beautiful place with so much to discover within its walls. Hetsemani is the beating heart of Cartagena. It's full of bars, restaurants and an amazing vibe. The street out here is incredible. Just walking through you can't help but feel like people are here to have a great time. Once you've explored the old town, Hetsemani is where the party is. The cultural epicenter of Cartagena, Hetsemani is packed with bars, restaurants, beautiful streets and amazing art. The art found throughout Hetsemani tells the story of the neighbourhood as a place where the poorer residents moved to escape the rigid class structure of the old town. Heroes and legends are depicted on Hetsemani's walls as well as more modern subjects. At night, Hetsemani comes alive and the whole place is buzzing. Every side street and alleyway is packed with bars as residents and tourists enjoy a beer or a cocktail. The fortress of Cartagena is the largest fortification built by the Spanish in any of their overseas colonies. This goes to show just how important the city was to the empire as a whole. When you climb to the top, you'll get amazing views over the whole city, particularly of the modern skyline on Isla Manga that's known as Miami to the locals. Just look at this view of the whole of Cartagena. Of course, you can't go to Cartagena and not go to the beach. Isla Barro's white sands and warm Caribbean waters are an absolute dream. Okay, it's a little touristy and one of the beach sellers did offer us cocaine, which we declined, but overall it was beautiful. We booked an excursion that included transfers from the city and a delightful seafood lunch. Absolutely no visit to Colombia is complete without a trip to Cartagena. We spent eight nights here and loved every minute. Whether you're a history nerd like us, or just want to soak up the carnival atmosphere and Caribbean vibes, Cartagena is something for everyone. <laughs>